going on YouTube we're back working on Betty today I gotta finish the the timing tune on it um, the other day I got it set at 34 degrees total timing now I got to get into the computer and set it for start and idle so we'll get into this and we'll look at the computer and I'll show you what I'm doing with this. Okay guys, so I got my computer up. And over here is my MSD software. It's going to come up. And you can see it says COM5 there. Let's zoom in and take a look. This is COM5. And I already got the ignition on. So, go over here to transfer. Put the camera over this way and zoom it in so y'all see what I'm doing. Here, MSD to PC. So, let's pull this. And it wants me to say all data. So, I'm pull all this up. You got this little window. Just gotta wait for it to download from the MSD. Okay, now that now that's loaded up, we'll zoom out a little bit. Breaker camera. And now that our camera is fixed, recenter it, come up a little bit, there we go. Okay, now the one I need to do is I need to go over here to view, and I need to go to run menu. Now then, if you look up here up top, zoom in, come up top, you see that right now I just have it zeroed out. That's the line for it. Now, this is a stock 360 out of a 2000 RAM. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to zero. I'm going to click on it. I can drag this line down. See, I can drag it anywhere I want to, but that's not what I want to do. Come out here to about. Let's see. I zoom in right here. You kind of see all these points. Come out here to about, oh, 1400 RPMs. No, let's make this a little, let's make it a little wider. Go right here to 2000, and we'll add a dot. Okay? Probably couldn't see that, but I added the dot right there. Now then, and then here it was 900. That's not exactly what I want though. So let's go to view and let's go to zoom one to one. That brings the whole thing back up. Now I have a point there. What I can do with this. Once I select this, and I can pull this all the way down to 25. And that's not a very good run curve there. But what I need to do is, we'll zoom in down here. Okay. Now over here is the amount of retard that we're doing, so... If we're at if we're at 34 degrees, then 24 degrees or 25 degrees is going to be 10 degrees. Well, 11 degrees. Yes. So that's what we're going to be starting at. But we need to come over here to about oh well, I messed up because I hate doing this zoom thing. I'm doing it for you guys. We're here to about 500. 
and the dot. Okay, so up to 500 uh, RPMs, it's going to be right there at 10 degrees. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out again. And come down here to about 20 here. And I'm going to zoom into this little area. Okay. Now here's 20 degrees. Here's 20 degrees right here. Now then at 600 RPMs. I want to add a dot there. Okay, and then I'm going to want this thing to idle at like 750, 750, 850, so I'm going to here to 900, add a dot there. Okay, so what this has done, what this has done is it'll start at 10 degrees, and then after 500 RPMs, it's going to add another uh, it's going to add another 5 degrees of time and so it'll idle at 15 or 16 degrees it'll, it'll idle at 16 degrees which that might be a little much for this truck so let's grab that dot and we're going to move it down to 21. Sometimes this thing wants to be difficult. Down to 21 degrees and we'll grab this one here. Move it down to 21 degrees. Okay, so now we're at 15 degrees of timing. That's what that's going to be. So 34 minus 21. Okay, so what we've done here. After my brain gets straightened out, my math is right. Um, 21 degrees is going to be 13 degrees of timing. And then down here at the bottom... It's going to crank at 9 degrees. So I shouldn't get any kickback or anything. And then up here. It's going to it's going to idle at 13 up to 900 RPM. And then after that, we'll go back to zoom 1 to 1. After that it goes from 13 up to 34 to 2000 so that first thousand RPMs, it the timing is going to climb to 34 degrees. Now, if it happens to ping or whatever at 34 degrees while I'm driving, I can always just back start backing this off down. I don't have to touch the distributor. I just have to get in here to the computer. Now, then the next thing we'll do. Once we got that done, is I'm going to open this up, and we'll move this over here, and we'll zoom in a little bit. Okay, so you got monitor, and you got stats, and you got rev limiter. Now this is burnout, which I don't have that hooked up. Um, that is a rev limiter max, which is 65, which that is not going to work for this truck. So that brings up, let's see if I can find it. That brings up this little box. Okay. Now, since this is a stock motor, I'm going to. Move this down. See how it's jumping? It's jumping about 10, right? That's at 5,000. I just walk this up. I'm going to leave it at 6,000. 
and I'm gonna save it to PC. Okay, so it saves to here. And then if you look over here, see how it's red, it's red dotted. Okay. I don't have the launch limit set. I don't need the ramp because I, I haven't plugged in any of this. You come all the way down, you have the watchdog, the alerts, and spark on. Now you can, with this, if it's sitting, right, you can turn that spark on and off and it won't, and it won't let the vehicle start. The vehicle won't start at all. Okay, now right there you have the launch and the step one, which that's for nitrous or you can actually do boost with it too. But with the one step, if you're going, once you hit that, once you activate the nitrous, it'll drop, like this one was set for to drop five and a half degrees. That's what I had set up for my nitrous. Okay, so we're done with this page. So we're gonna. So everything's set up the way I want it to. And now I'm gonna go up here to transfer. Zoom out just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Transfer. Now I want to transfer PC to MSD. It's gonna bring up that, which say all data and I'll bring back up this box here and we'll just have to sit here and wait for it well guys that's gonna be about it it's starting to rain out here but uh I got everything put up the computer and everything's put back up but yeah, that's the MSD is real easy to tune your timing. You just set your maximum timing with a locked out distributor and then you back it off to whatever. Um, so now all that Betty needs for me to start driving it is exhaust and I need to get the tail lights going. All the other lights work, uh, brakes work, everything's good. So I just need to get that tail lights done and then take it down to have exhaust put on it. So, y'all take it easy. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Later, guys.